Hello. Hello. Hi. Today we talk about health and illness. We look at what to say if you're feeling ill. And how to give advice to other people when they're feeling ill. When you're ill, you may feel pain. You may feel pain here, in your head. Ooh, I have a headache. Or here, in your throat. I've got a sore throat. And I've got a temperature. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a temperature. This is a thermometer. You use it to check your temperature. Normal body temperature is 36.9 Celsius. If it's more than that, we say, I've got a temperature. And in the States, we often say, I have a fever. At Julia Marsh's flat, there's someone with a very high temperature. Good morning, Jobs. Carl, what are you doing here? Aren't you going back to Germany today? He isn't very well. What's the matter with you? Oh, I don't know. I have a... Um, a sore throat. Uh, yes, I have a sore throat and a headache. I feel off. Have you got a temperature? Well, what do you mean? Are you very hot? Do you have a high temperature? Oh, yes, I think so. I think you've got flu. You ought to see a doctor as soon as possible. Here in England? I don't know. I think you should go back to your hotel and you should call a doctor. But I have to be back in Germany tomorrow. Carl, you're ill. I think you ought to stay here for a few days. What do you think, James? No, Julia. He must do what he wants to do. Carl, if I were you, I'd go home tomorrow. I have a sore throat. I have or I've got. I've got a sore throat. You should call a doctor. Should. It's the right thing to do. You ought to stay here. Ought to. It's the same as should. If I were you, I'd go home. If I were you... <laughs> of course, James is not Carl. It's a way of giving advice. It's what James would do if he were in Carl's situation. What would you do if someone gave you a million pounds? I'd spend it. You'd spend it? Yes. I'd save it. You'd save it? Yes. What would you do if someone gave you a million pounds? I'd give it away. You'd, You'd give, give it, it away? away? Yes. A million pounds. I'll spend it. How much for your beans? One million pounds, exactly. And I'll give it away. Thanks. And I'll save it. Oh. What would you do if someone gave you a million pounds? What would you do if someone gave you a million pounds? I'd spend it. I would spend it. I'd spend it. What would you do if someone gave you a million pounds or a million dollars? Oh, if somebody gave me a million dollars, I'd uh, contribute one-tenth to my church. I'd do that and the rest I'd use to pay off my bills and spread around my family. I would buy 
a very nice house somewhere hot and uh, have a very large studio and a boat. I would spend some of it right away and I would put some away for later and I would give some to my children for their future. Oh, I'd pay for my wedding. <laughs> I'd go shopping and buy clothes. <laughs> I'd retire. What would you do if you were ill when you were in another country? Would you go back home immediately? That's what Carl Schiller wants to do, but Julia has other ideas. Don't argue, Carl. I'm taking you to see my doctor now. No, I don't want to do that. Why not? What are you worried about? I don't like doctors. What do you mean you don't like doctors? Well, uh, actually, I'm afraid of them. What? It's true. I'm frightened of going to the doctors. I understand. I'm the same. Oh, come on, both of you. Don't be so silly. <laughs> Listen, it's all right. I feel much better now. I think I should go back to Germany and have a rest for a couple of days, then I'll be fine, really. OK, if that's what you want to do. Thank you for all your help, both of you. You've been very kind. Don't mention it. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. I'll call you next week about advertising the new computer. Good. OK, I'll show you out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Carl said he didn't want to go to the doctors, and he said it in two different ways. I'm afraid of doctors. Afraid. I'm frightened of going to the doctors. Frightened. Some people are afraid of going to the doctors. And a lot of people are very frightened of going to the dentists. Mubarak Samji is a dentist in England. Are people frightened of going to see him? People are, even in this day and age, frightened of going to the dentist and it is generally because they've had a bad experience in the past. Who's in the six, five, four, and... If a patient turned up who was very frightened, you would have to go through the various stages. First of all, I would try doing treatment with just a local anaesthetic. But because people are frightened of needles, I would ask them to take a tranquilizer by mouth, which in most cases makes them feel a little better. But you do also get patients who are beyond that, and for them they would have to have a tranquilizer admin administered in their vein. And you unfortunately also get the final category of patient who will need to be actually be put out completely by means of a general anaesthetic. If you're frightened of going to the dentists, you should look after your teeth. What advice does Mr Samji give about that? The advice varies according to age group. The advice that I would give to young children is that they should not eat too many sweets and they should regularly clean their teeth by brushing, especially last thing at night. Do you eat a lot of sweets? Only on Saturdays. Well, that's good. So not, not so many? No. That's ever so important. You should eat as few as possible because it's sweets that give you holes in your teeth. Alrighty. Yes. And how about brushing? How often do you brush your teeth? Um, in the mornings and sometimes in the evenings. Excellent. Brushing in the evening is ever so important. You should brush every evening before bedtime. And remember not to eat anything straight after you've brushed your teeth. Alright. For adults, the main advice is on 
the prevention of gum disease in addition to the prevention of decay. And it is for that reason that adults should clean carefully in between their teeth, again, especially at night. Remember about how you ought to floss to prevent gum disease. Right. Generally speaking, no sign of decay, so you're obviously being careful about the sugars. Trying to, yeah. And as far as those wisdom teeth are concerned, make sure you get your brush right to the back there. Keep that gum nice and tidy. Mubarak Samji, a very friendly dentist. When was the last time you went to the dentist's, David? I never go to the dentist's. My teeth are perfect. Mmm! Ow! I think you ought to see a dentist. Oh, no, my teeth are fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.